Question number 15. A. The total number of arrangements without repetition when k objects are chosen and there are n distinct objects is equal to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. Now, how many ways are there to choose four objects among 10 distinct objects when order is taken into account? Order matters. This is called a permutation without replacement, which is n factorial over, and I like to use r instead of k, but over n minus r factorial. That's going to be 10 factorial over 6 factorial, which is going to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. You can do 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, or you can just do the shortcut. 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial is 5,040. Two, how many ways are there to award gold, silver, and bronze medals at a tournament where eight players remain in the quarterfinals? We have eight players. If you think a bit logically, you have eight can come and go, can get gold, and then you have seven left for silver and six left for bronze. The order totally matters, so that's it. So it's eight times seven times six. The order matters. This is a permutation without replacement, so we're gonna do eight factorial divided by eight minus three factorial, which is eight factorial divided by five factorial, so eight times seven times six. And that gives us 336. So there's 336 ways that we could award the gold, silver, and bronze. B, the total number of combinations without repetition when k objects are chosen and n distinct objects is equal to n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. One, how many ways are there to choose four objects among 10? So order doesn't matter. This is a combination without replacement. We are going to do 10 factorial over 4 factorial over 10 minus 4, which is 6 factorial. So we have 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial also divided by 10 minus 4 factorial. 10 times 9 times 8 times, because the 10 factorial over the 10 minus 4 factorial is going to be like 10 factorial over 6 factorial. The 6 factorial is going to cancel out the east times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 that we would have up on the top otherwise here. We have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 divided by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which gives us 210. For B, the answer is 210 if we're choosing four objects out of 10 distinct objects, and the order is important. Two, how many ways are there to play the 649, where six numbers must be chosen among 49 numbers? The catch with the 649 is the order isn't important. So once again, this is a combination. If the winning numbers were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you happen to have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or any other order of those numbers, you win. It's going to be 49 factorial divided by the 6 factorial divided by 49 take away 6, which is 43 factorial. Handy dandy calculator time. 49 factorial. It's a huge number. 49 factorial divided by 43 factorial is equal to yeah you see we get this 0.9999 thing that should really be like 20 and divided by 6 factorial is equal to 13 million nine hundred eighty three thousand eight hundred sixteen so that means your probability of winning the 649 if you buy a ticket is one out of 13,983,816. And that's it for question number 15. Have a good day.